Good morning and welcome to the Memorial Morning Show, brought to you by the Memorial AV Club, coming to you from our TV studio. I am Arby. We are back to live shows using our new streaming server. Memorial's annual talent showcase is on June 14th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. This free event will showcase singing, dancing, acting, and so much more. Come to the talent that Memorial has to offer. The Under the Sea Dance will be on June 15th from 5 to 7 p.m. in the cafeteria. The AV Club will be doing the entertainment. There will be baked goods and access to games for purchase during the dance. You will need a permission slip to attend, which you can get during lunch. Permission slips will be will needed to be returned by June 9th. Admission is free with a signed permission slip. Now we will go to Studio B, where we have information on our national day. Hello, I'm Zoe. Today is National Best Friends Day on June 8th. Honor your closest and dearest friend on Best Friends Day. The relationship between best friends is often fierce and can withstand distance, storms, and, e and silence. Whether we've known them all our lives or they have more recently acquired best but there are more recently acquired best friends make tough times bearable. Those fun times, the memorable and uh, uh, memorable times, priceless. When it comes to best friends, they run the gamut. They may be exactly like us or are complete opposite. According to Pew Research Poll, 98% of teens have one or more closest friends, and 78% of them say they have one to five close friends. However, as we move on into adulthood, our friendship-making ability changes along with our priorities. Whether our best friends are from our <clears throat> from childhood or years in life varies, but one thing is sure: best friends smooth over the rough edges in life and make the rest of it quite interesting. No matter how many best friends surround you, you get together and celebrate the day. It is also National Upsy Daisy Day. Each year on June 8th, National Upsy Daisy Day is set aside to encourage you to face the day positively and get to get up gloriously, gratefully, and gleefully each morning. Each, more, each day is a gift, and if we remember that as we rise each morning, it will help us carry a good attitude throughout the day. Whatever the day may bring us, life is full of challenges and bumps in the road, and it is our attitude that helps us over the bumps and through the challenges or move onward with a smile. Give it a try. Be grateful, and thank you for what you have, for what you do have such a good such as a bed to sleep in food to eat friends and family try a smile and see how it feels it may surprise you what it what that feels it it feels good on the inside also and how other people will make you smile back you may just brighten up their day upsy daisy there are several ways to celebrate this fun holiday Leave an anonymous note encouraging someone to have a great day. Make a donation to a food pantry or your favorite charity. It doesn't matter if it's small or large. Every little bit helps. Give to yourself. Start a savings account or jar for a rainy day. Call a friend you've not spoken to in a while. Let them know you've been thinking about them. Take time to catch up with them. Now we go back to Studio Way. Something nice to remember. Monday, June 19th is Juneteenth, so there is no school. Wednesday, June 21 is the 8th grade promotion ceremony. This event will be live streamed for family and friends who cannot, who cannot attend to watch. Friday, June 23 is the last day of school, and there's a, an, it's also an early release day. Reminder from the library, please return any library books that you still have as soon as possible. Also, there are a number of free books available for grab and go. So if you're looking for a great number, for a great summer reading book or two, come by and see what is available. Now back to studio before the other sports and more. Today's, today's forecast 
we will see scattered showers with a high of 63 and a low of 49. Tomorrow, we will see a chance of rain with a high of 65. Today, we will bring you the health tip of the week. This week's health tip is about sunscreen and sun safety. With the weather warming up and sun getting brighter, you might need some reminders on how to stay healthy in the sun. According to the Academy of Dermatology Association, sunscreen can protect your skin against skin cancer and premature aging. However, it is not as effective unless it's applied correctly. Follow these tips from dermatologists when applying sunscreen. Choose a sunscreen that has an SPF of 30 or higher, is water resistant, and provides broad spectrum, broad spe spectrum coverage, which means it protects you from UVA and UVB rays. Follow these helpful tips when selecting a sunscreen. Uh, apply sunscreen before going outdoors. It takes appro approximately 15 minutes for your skin to absorb the sunscreen and protect you. If you wait until you are in the sun to apply sunscreen, your skin is unprotected and can burn. Use enough sunscreen. Most adults need about one ounce or enough to fill a shot glass to, co to, co to fully cover their body. Rub the sunscreen thoroughly into your skin. Apply sunscreen to all bare skin. Remember your neck, face, ears, top of your feet, and legs. For hard to reach areas like your back, ask someone for help or use a spray sunscreen. If you have thinning hair, either apply sunscreen to your scalp or wear a brimmed hat. To apply to to protect your lips, apply a lip balm with SPF of at least 15. To remain protected when outdoors, replace replay reply sunscreen every 2 hours or immediately after swimming or sweating. People who got sunburned usually don't you didn't use enough sunscreen, didn't reapply it after being in the sun, or use an expired product. Your skin is exposed to har sun's harmful UV rays every time you go outside, even on cloudy days and in the winter. So whether you are on vacation or taking a brisk fall walk in your neighborhood, remember to use sunscreen. For more skin cancer prevention tips, see a board certified dermatologist. On Wednesday, June 14, 2023, from 4 to 6 p.m., Memorial Middle School will have its student showcase sponsored by Title I Department. You can spend time playing student design board games, see the end core of the Massachusetts Civics Project, showcase presented at Clark University by our 8th grade students, explore math lab projects, see the ex exhibits and artwork at the student art show, learn about summer reading and math programs. Enter the free raffle for some prizes. Join us for pizza and dessert. If you have any questions, please contact Mark with um, Edmonds, Title One Parent Engagement Coordinator at 978-345-3295 or Edmonds at fitchburg.k12.ma.us. And now to Jose, who has a school news in Spanish. About that, may I must say, I want to important to record that. No es 19 de junio es June Teams, así que no hay escuela. Mercos 21 de junio es la ceremonia de promoción del octavo grado. Este evento será transmitido en vivo para la familia y amigos que no puedan, que no puedan asistir a ver. Mercos 23 de junio es el último día de clases y también es un día de salida temprana. Un recordatorio de la biblioteca. Por favor, devuelva los libros de la biblioteca que todavía tiene, que todavía tiene tan pronto como sea posible. Es más, hay una serie de libros gratuitos disponibles para agarrar y llevar. Así que si usted está usando un gran libro de lectura de verano o dos, venir y ver lo que está disponible. El martes 14 de junio de 2022 de 4 a 6 pm, Humor en Middle School, tendrá su Student Showcase atacionado por el título Wanda. Usted puede pasar el tiempo jugando juegos de mesa diseñados por los estudiantes Beryl Bees de la Mosa de Proyectos Cívicos de Massachusetts presentado en la Universidad Clark por nuestros estudiantes de octavo grado. Explorar los proyectos del laboratorio de matemáticas, ver las exposiciones y obras de arte en la muestra de arte de los estudiantes, aprender acerca de los programas de lectura y matemáticas de verano y participar en la rifa gratuita de algunos premios. 
Vamos a ver nosotros con la pinza de postre. No va a tu story, güey. Your books have arrived and are now on sale. If you, are, if you have already purchased one, please see Mr. Lange to pick up your yearbook in room 43, 243, the STEM, the, the STEM lab. If you would like to purchase one, they are $30 each, limited number for sale, so don't wait. Some reminders from the office, slides or open-toed shoes are not allowed to be worn in school. Hoods are not allowed to be worn in school either. Always have your agenda with you when you are walking the halls. Don't forget to check your, remember to check your X2 gradebook off and for updates on your grades and progress in your classes. That is all for today. Remember that you can watch the Memorial Morning Show on our new streaming server, on our school information website, on FATV, or at owncast.cglanger.com every morning during school at 7.30 a.m. You can also catch old episodes on our YouTube channel. To find our YouTube channel, just do a YouTube search for Memorial Mills Fitchburg or find the link on our school website. Thank you for watching and remember to watch again for all your school news. Have a great Memorial Panther Day.